come out for a camp in Blackwell, uh, parking on the site. First time I've ever camped around here, out with Trevor Lake, fellow YouTuber. Puts absolutely nothing on YouTube, does a bit of camping like, trawler man. We've got a pied wagtail nesting in his dumper. It's had to be decommissioned. I think, how many chicks is in? About six. Five. five, at least five chicks. So we're not going to hang about. Parents are hanging about. They want to get back to it. Uh, <laughs> well, we've set up camp in these uh, woodlands here. We're just down there. See where we are. Where do you reckon, Trevor? Between Tibby and Blackwell. Tibby and Blackwell. We've already got his uh, stuff set up. We like I say we've been having a chat. I've known Trev through work a couple of years ago. <laughs> Run, runs a boat from where is it, Scarborough? Anywhere. Anywhere. Fisherman at art. Yeah, first time I've camped up here. Wild camping. Beautiful. Well, here's the setup for tonight anyway. We had set up earlier on, we've been like gabbing. What, mate? <laughs> I'm just talking to me, said Trev. Oh, really? uh, one of my hammocks, tied on with the old blue thing, brilliant. How are, how are you, yo, Trev? 18 stone? Yeah. On a good day. Just the top there. Come across here, we're going to have a fire. There's fire here. Here's uh, some of the sheaths that I've made for them nice I've just made. I've made another one. That is only carbon steel. It, it not keeping edge. I don't know how long it'll last. It's good for throwing into posts and that. It's not bad for throwing nice. About 10 pence to make. You've got to have a grinder with that light. But... Collecting a bit of wood. There's my setup for at night. First time we've ever been round here. It's not the biggest of places, but it's rated undergrowth. What do you reckon, Trev? Yeah. That's sad. Got a bit of roadkill there hanging in a tree. It is a uh, pheasant. It would either be a pheasant, duck or rabbit, but it's pheasant. Bit of steak, beans, bacon, some bread, Trev, aren't we? Yeah. I think that's all we need. Well, we all set up, decided to piss it down the rain. Uh, so, but we've got a pheasant on anyway. We've got great well, slow cooking over this fire. It's just over on with a bit of chicken wire and some like electrical wire. Uh, we've got a couple of pheasant legs, silver paper there. Absolutely silent it down now. Trev's just making a few modifications into rain mode. <laughs> Got a bit of steak to get through, a couple of tins of beans, a couple of tins of red stripe. Been a lovely day. But now it's raining. What do you reckon, Trev? Should we go home, watch no. television? <laughs> Well, it's been pissing it down really now for a couple of hours, but we have managed to get a... <laughs> I'm talking to my centrum. We have managed to cook a pheasant. There on the top, got it good. A good meal like that, quite good. I have, honestly, cremated legs, but we've got pheasant, beans and bread. Absolutely pissing it down, Trev's over there. Got a side at fire. Same setup to this. I haven't done much filming really. Uh, ah, it's the first time I've been camping with Trev in a couple of years. Never been on a camp with him, so. Then we're camping in this place, never been here before. I've never been here before. Uh, wild camping. It's absolutely throwing it down.
plenty of pheasant left and I'll tell you something now, that is, that is gorgeous. Rain spitted pheasant, be absolutely beautiful. I'm going to be honest, that pheasant there is beautiful. And really honest, my dentures, they can't cope with it, like it. I mean, that in embers, I mean, that, that is hard. You've got to have a good set of teeth to, do, uh, to be eating that with beans. Lovely, but this. Look at this. That breast. Now I'm going to get a, a good set up one day. That is camping food, that is beautiful. Just cooked in some chicken wire and adjust it, slow roast it over a fire. That is sound. I get Trevor's verdict tomorrow, he's on the other side. It was raining about 10 o'clock last night and it just hadn't stopped. It's just geez, been throwing it down all night. And me and Trevor now we're just going to have a quick cut down and uh, sod off. I don't think we're going to get any breakfast done. What do you reckon Trevor? Skip breakfast then. Yeah. I'm just fucking silent it down. Little talk to it. Well, they're really to say because it has been constant since I mean, really 11 hours of rain. They don't look as though it's going to stop either. I haven't been in bad company, everything I've done, I've done with knives that I've made. Uh. Well, we've decided on a, on a quick cut down. Fucking it's not relenting this rain. 
Wow. Gonna quick cut down, pack up, sod off. We've got these. We're gonna get wet through going back through these fields. So we're not even gonna get a fire going on for breakfast. Well, we just had we just had chicken uh, cooked over this tree from fire last night in some chicken wire. Look yeah, how much it's been raining. We really should save that. Now we're going to pack up and sod off. Ready to go, it's been a wet and trev, don't you reckon? <laughs> I mean what it is now on this banking, it is getting a bit slippy, so we're going to move our, it's not stopping raining. All this grass that's been, there's a fox set up there, and last night we could hear, uh, we could hear them uh, walking about. Big activity around here, only a small wood, uh, this is where a fire was. It's where we were set up. What reckon Trev? Walk back to the car. Yeah. <laughs> it is fucking pissing it down. Well this is little uh, this is little stream that we come over last night. Poor old rain, I mean I don't think we're gonna jump that now. <laughs> so we've got to make another way out. Yeah, I bet you can. Yeah, well, we're on his last leg now. We've, about, we've camped about just over a mile away. Wet. Here we are, we're going to pick his vehicles up. I'm going to head off home, take our missus out for a meal, up Nottingham. Tell you what, we've had some water. We've got a weak security man up now. Been a good camp though, nonetheless. What do you reckon, Trev? Yeah, yeah. Great. A bit wet, hasn't it, lad? <laughs> Pheasant come out well, well, breast. We got some steak, bacon for breakfast this morning, but we're not hanging about in, in this. Uh, we're going to get a couple of days off work. Going to shoot straight off, leave wagtails in the weekend, rear the chicks. Right, till next time. Well, it's been a wet camp. Kids soaking wet through, coming back through the fields. Nice little wood though, a bit on the slope. First time ever camp there. Uh, I've only known Trevor a couple of years through work. He, uh, we got talking one day about camping. He, uh, he runs a boat out, a fishing boat from uh, from Donny. It's so fair play to him stopping down here on a night like this. Um, I've made them hammocks a bit too big. I mean, they are quite long hammocks, and the uh, the top that I've got, it ain't it ain't covering hammock. And all on this day, it was getting a bit damp early morning. Uh, the the relentless rain were just it was just making its way down that hammock. So really, in future, well, I've got to cut the hammocks down or bring bigger tarps. Good camp though, not a bad camp. Nice work, well. Uh, well that's about it really, uh, till next time I'm off at Nine Ladies next week, big tribal gathering, uh, I'll call, I'll catch you all then. <laughs>